Prepare to be shocked. I actually spent money at Barnes & Noble. Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. I went to Barnes & Noble and I actually spent money, which hardly ever happens. Um, I happened to have a Barnes & Noble coupon that was particularly good and we went there to hang out after date night one night and I couldn't resist because I saw some things in the clearance aisle that I thought were just great which is a danger of going to Barnes & Noble. But to get started, this is actually the reason I went down to the kids section at Barnes & Noble because we are about to finish our first Kumon book of money, um, the one with the penguin on it. And so I wanted to pick up the second one so that we didn't have any interruption in finishing up with coins and practicing money. And this is just the second one in the, the money series. Again, as I pointed out in our math curriculum video, I really like that Kumon uses the actual photographic representations of the coins and dollars. Um, I think it gives them a really nice understanding of what the coins are. They also flip the coins over, so you'll see both sides of the coins often for the math. I like the style of the Kumon money notebook because the first page of any lesson always has the answers kind of pre-entered for them so they can conceptually understand it before they have to go ahead and do it on their own. Then as I was walking out I happened to stop by the clearance section. Guess what happened at the clearance section? Saw books like this which were bargain price. This was actually 50% off for me so it was about four dollars. Um, but I was super happy with these books that I found. They are sticker activity books. This one was the first one I saw called World of Facts and it has over 1200 stickers. It's by Discovery Kids and I thought these were so entertaining. Every page is very different and has different types of games. Some of them actually have like games. Um, other ones have these spaces for stickers to be put in. And Further, so there's things like mazes and places for them to draw. There's a section on space. Um, and you'll see like, so you can put in these little stickers here where the, where the pictures are kind of shaded out a little bit. And every section has a little sticker. So it'll say right here where the stickers are supposed to go. So you have the little game stickers, you have animal stickers. Here's the space stickers that you're going to put in. Um, really like a huge variety and amount of stickers and activities and it went through and had different sections. So there was a body section, a dinosaur section. I thought it was just such a fun book and I think this will be a great car book, a great book to just have for when we're waiting in line at places or one of them is waiting for the other one to be done with their ballet or their taekwondo or whatever they're at. So this was a really fun find. And then behind that, I saw this book, which seemed even more fun. This is sticker fun for history. I fell in love because if you'll open it up, the first section is on Egypt, which is exactly what we've been studying. And the pages are really glossy and lovely and the pictures were good and I thought the content was good as well. Um, and then it goes on to Greece, talks about Alexander and stuff, and you'll see like, so these are, this is an example of the sticker pages that you'll have. It talks about the ancient Romans. Here's the stickers for that. And then there's a Viking village, Norse gods, medieval town, cathedral building, um, explorers. So it talks about different explorers and different routes. Alexander the Great, Leif Erikson, um, Marco Polo. Really just a lovely book. I was so pleased with it. And because if my seven-year-old has a sticker book, my four-year-old's going to want a sticker book too, I succumbed and got my first big sticker playtime book. This is certainly not her first big sticker playtime book, but it is very big and it seems really fun and girly. Um, and it just has big pictures and repositionable stickers in it. So I think she'll enjoy playing with this as she does it. So there's a princess section, then there's a little animal section. there's a little fairy section at the end. 
So you guys, I succumbed. I spent money at Barnes & Noble's. What can I say? I really like these books though. I think the kids are gonna get a kick out of them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I wish you the very best day.